We want to kick off the, uh, the night with our keynote speaker, Lee Jays is here, globally recognized innovation strategist and thought leader on organizational change. Lee's a good man. His talks equip leaders with the tools and strategies needed to face our evolving business landscape and how to thrive during these times, especially now more than ever, right? People used to say, explain to me the innovation process. And I'm like, assume that I'm running a restaurant that serves up innovation. I've got all the best chefs in the kitchen. They're from design thinking, user experience designers, prototype specialists, researchers. You don't need to know how to cook. You don't need to know how to cook. There's no benefit in me teaching you how to innovate. If you want to learn, we can do that. We can do a cooking class on how to do it, the structure, how they work, the job. What you need to know is what do you want from the menu, right? And I'd say, what type of help? Like, do you need your team to help you dream bigger? Do you need like execution support? And I just generated, built a menu, and was like, pick what you need from the menu. And people are like, oh, I got it. Like, otherwise, people get too much in the weeds and they spend less time thinking about what they actually need. So, as uh, Walmart Canada's most recent head of innovation. Lee knows all about the strategies and innovations that are constantly shifting in which we, uh, ways we live and work, right? We're all familiar with that. Range from algorithms and social media to robotics, so AI as well. That is uh, top of mind for most people. Lee dives deep into these trends and how we can always stay one step ahead. Today, he's here to share his uh, key learnings and insights with all of us. Let's please give a warm welcome to Lee Jays. So I'll go back to this question, which is like, great. Where the hell do we start, Lee? Where do we begin this journey? Because there's so much choice out there. I don't believe that we have an innovation problem. I think we have a culture problem. In order to understand innovation, you truly have to understand people. The technology is just a tool. It's only a tool. And there'll be more technology than you can ever choose from. The list is gonna get bigger, more complicated, more confusing, and it's gonna move at a rate that you've never seen in the history of, of the world. Three technologies that I would say over the last few decades have fundamentally transformed us as a society. That would be GPS, the internet, and a cell phone. And what's interesting about AI, generative AI, is that it's on the exact same trajectory as all three of these uh, technologies. The same will happen with artificial intelligence. Every single app that you're seeing on this computer come up will fundamentally be part of artificial intelligence. Whether that's booking your travel plans autonomously, whether that's doing all of your meal plans autonomously, maintaining the calendar, all of that admin work that comes up, artificial intelligence can do all of that and automate it. And now it starts with really stupid things, like people generating images of dogs on the moon. That's kind of how the internet started. If you remember, the early stage websites of the internet were really gimmicky things that didn't really have any value. But the million dollar homepage was worth multiple million, millions of dollars at the time. So it starts with really gimmicky things like generating images and doing some music, but I promise you AI is here to stay and you have to, you have to be an early adopter on this for your business. Under your chairs, you should have a bag. And I want you to look under your chairs to see if you've got a bag there. Who's got one? Everyone hold it up. Okay, so inside the bag, there's 24 chips. And if you've got one, if you could stand up for me, it would be much easier for me, it'd be great. If you could stand up. I want you to start with this. How many chips do you spend sleeping? Meaning for every single hour of sleep, take out a chip. So what about driving to work, the commute to work? Or having breakfast in the morning, getting ready, getting the kids ready, take out. Okay, so what about now working? Actually, when you go to work, some of you are just empty in the bag now, right? Like just everything, <laughs> nothing left. Like the whole bag from the start, all 24 chips. Take out how many chips you've got uh, for work, is anybody out of chips? This guy, I like it. So the reality is, and you can give a chip to everybody around you so everybody gets a chip, because there's a, there's a takeaway here. The reality is, a lot of us, we don't have the time, right? It's easy for me to tell you that everything's disrupting and you're gonna have to go and build your business for the future. Like maybe there's some people out there with zero chips. I mean, like where the hell do I find the time to do it? So what I want you to do is make sure that everybody around you has a chip and everybody should take one of these home. What I want you to do is every time you get dressed in the morning, I want you to put that chip in your pocket. 
so that every time you put your hands in the pocket, it's there as a reminder. Now, I'm not here to tell you where you find the time. I'm not here to say, take it away from family time or hobbies. I'm only here to make sure that that chip in your pocket for the next two weeks is a constant reminder of this presentation. Just find one hour for the next two or three weeks to spend thinking about how you create the business of the future. My name's Lee Jays. Um, this has been a privilege. I'm gonna be around for um, right after the event if there's any questions. So thanks for the time today. Um, and hopefully there's a, a few takeaways you guys can take back to your business. Um, and hopefully I get to see you guys again soon. Thanks. Another uh, quick round of applause, guys, for Lee James. Fascinating stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to do a short coffee break, and I made this about 15 minutes. So I'm, uh...